How about some strong and sexy bisexual women from recent television shows? Hey, great, you found us. Thanks for tuning in. This is Not Good at Normal. Oh yes, let's start with one of my favorites, How to Get Away with Murder. It started probably eight, nine years ago, maybe seven years ago. It was on for six or seven seasons, I believe. I don't watch much television, so I remember seeing it in the very early years, uh, maybe an episode here or there, or a couple of minutes here and there, but I recently caught up with it on Netflix, and mostly because of the beautiful woman you see here, which is Viola Davis, plays a very, very strong character with flaws. The most amazing part of Viola Davis as Annalise Keating, Keating is not only this particular role, but I've seen her in many other things, and she's one of my favorite actresses because she can really do anything. And and that's the power of an actress, right? You believe them in any part. So playing, I guess, a very strong, I was going to say like cutthroat or, I mean, why not a strong lawyer? Men play strong lawyers all the time, but we're not going to get into that this time. Right now, we're just going to concentrate on these beautiful and very strong and very sexy. Mostly of, of, of them, I think, play bisexuals, but I believe um, the character of Tegan Price played by Amira Van, if that's how you pronounce her name. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce it right. Um, she also plays a very strong um, lawyer, but I believe she is not a bisexual character. I believe she is just a lesbian character, but I don't know. I don't know that that's important. Anyway, at some point in this series, the character that Viola Davis plays actually says in a courtroom that not only is she a woman, uh, a a darker skinned woman, but she's also bisexual. So you can't fault her for whatever the thing I think she was trying to um, defend or maybe not defend, but like talk about somebody who was a, a person, a, a gay person or a queer person. And um, so she brought that up in there so that you wouldn't think that she was against that. And throughout most of the series, she never actually came out and said that. I believe her first relationship was she was not out with the woman that she was with for a couple of years. And um, they go back and forth and they kind of show what they used to be like. or And then they, they kind of get together again in various times throughout the series. So if you like crime and if you like drama and it's not really campy, like sure, it probably couldn't happen, especially the way they, uh, you know, it's made for television, right? But um, there are some believable parts to it. All of the people in this series are beautiful people, except for this guy, Sam. But certainly all, I mean, almost every single character here was was a beautiful person. And uh, of course, you got to love Cicely Tyson. She, she's, I loved her from, from forever. So she's in this too, um, playing Annalise's mother. Um, and then they leave kind of an open ending. You don't, you don't know if um, Annalise and Tegan in the end, are together ever at all. Um, but they, they show them having fun sometimes and, and being uh, close friends, certainly work colleagues. The next one I've been watching a little here and there is Legends of Tomorrow. And this one is campy. This is really campy, really kind of out there. And um, it's cool because they do like time, they call it time hops where it's like time travel and they go back and they, they get to play various characters in different historical settings, which is really cool because history is my thing. And so you get to see all them doing these funny things and, and pretty campy and costumes and various eras in history. But it's so cute to see these two characters. The captain, played by a woman, yay, um, Sarah, Captain Sarah Lance played by Katie Lutz, I believe that's how you say her last name, and uh, Agent Ava Sharp, and she is played by the actress Jess McCann. They are super cute together. Um, and then blondes are usually not my thing, but they're really cute together, and they have, seems like they just have so much fun, and their character's kind of funny, and it's just really adorable. Um, and I've, I've seen, I think, a couple of episodes from season five, YouTube has these compilation videos of, you know, this character's arc. So it was um, these two characters together, like their progression from whatever season they started. 
Um, but I did see one where um, Sarah Lance was with a whole bunch of men and women and, you know, throughout the series. And it's kind of funny. Uh, both of these shows, How to Get Away with Murder and uh, Legends of Tomorrow, they're vastly different shows, but they show strong women in strong roles as captains, as uh, bureau chiefs, as lawyers. Have you seen either of these shows, both of these shows? What are your thoughts? What are your favorites? And also, what is your favorite strong female character, whether they are bisexual or lesbian or, or not? Whatever it is that you are drawn to as far as a character or as an actor or actress, let me know. Put in the comments. Let me know what type of shows that you like to watch or movies. And thank you for watching. Hopefully you made it this far. If you did, please like, subscribe if you'd like to. And thanks for watching. Not good at normal.